Good afternoon, FS Global Bank Channel, and welcome back to FS Daily News, the number one place to get all your FS news in one video for the day. Happy April Fool's Day. Well, in news today, we got some news on a new brand coming to Farming Simulator 22 and what Peter J has also been working on. In new mods, we got some pretty good ones. We got two new maps and a brand new maple syrup factory. Remember, if you guys liked the video, to make sure to smash that like button. It's Friday. Let's roll that intro. Let's go. Welcome back. Okay, so that first piece of news to talk about for today is from Peter J. Motti. And this is basically just a few tease pictures of what he's been working on. This is some screenshots of the Mossy Ferguson 100 and the 200. Can't wait for this right here. Now on to the second piece of news. If you guys didn't hear, Sid Modding is gonna be bringing out his birotor, which, well, it's actually gonna be called a twin screw like it was in FS19. But anyways, some of the new features on it, well, some of the features on it. Animated foil on the pipe, movable wiring in the cabin on the holes. He's also added engine configurations for us. So you get the R300, which is 306, the R350, which is 356, the R400, which is 412, and the R450, which is 465. Also, you can change the color of the tank, either yellow or black. Let me know whenever this comes out if you guys are planning on using this. I know I am. I love the 360 degree angle it can do. And then now on to the last piece of regular news for today. A new brand will be coming to Farming Simulator. This is from Julian J. Money. He had this to say, while my Alice Calmers 8550 is still not released on the mod up to this day due to some issues it had and that has now been fixed, he nonetheless has some great news to this mod a few days ago. These This news may especially make the console players really happy. Open up more, more possibilities for the American modding community and he therefore saved it, well, it was his birthday yesterday, so happy big birthday to Julian J. Motti. But what he has said is basically Alice Commerce, which I'm probably butchering that name, is now a licensed brand on console. Heck yes. Also, I also talked to Julian. He said that the guy at Giants said he asked about the Alice Commerce, not about the Echo brand. So he unfortunately couldn't tell, like say, like the Gleaner brand or anything like that. But if we get Gleaner on all platforms, that would be amazing. Anyways, guys, that is all the regular news for today. Let's head on over and take a look at those new mods we got for today. Welcome to the new mod section of the video. Not too bad of a day, actually. We got 13 new mods to go over. Two were new maps for all platforms. Then we also got eight new mods for all platforms. For PC only, we got three new ones. Well, let's get to it. Okay, so the first one we're going to be actually talking about is the two new maps. The first one is the Mecklenburg Lake District, and this is from Holden. Okay, so let's get into it real quick. There we go. This is exactly where you start off. We're just going to go like a quick overview of these maps. But anyways, this says, Welcome to the District of Mecklenburg Lake District. All standard functions of FS22 are available. There are 12 fields and 3 meadows. There is a farm with 2 cow sheds, 1 BGA, and 1 silo. Seed, lime, and fertilizer can also be purchased on this map. It is important the train is only decorative object on the map. Okay, so here is exactly where you start off. Uh, we got, looks like there is factories because this is a bakery right here. So let me go ahead and pull up the map real quick. These are huge, huge fields as you see right there. Uh, let's see, 992, 1.5 million. So these are not cheap. Looks like you start off with field 12. And your farm looks like right over here. Is that your farm? Yeah, there's your tractors and stuff. Uh, let's see. We got, what's this? Seed station, lime station, fertilizer, seed station. So that's pretty nice right here. Actually, there's a place where you can get everything. I like that. Uh, we have, let's see, biomass heating plant. We have a bakery where we're at right now. The biogas. Uh, let me see. Cereals. We have more seed stations and stuff. Um, we got the shop, we got the gas station, carpentry, bell selling. So there is a few factories on here. We got the sugar mill right down here. Let's take a look at the shop real quick. Okay, so there is the shop. Not bad shop. I think this is the base shop from Elm Creek, if I'm not mistaken. And then, of course, you can fix your stuff right over here. Okay, starting vehicles, you have... Oh, you actually have a lot. You have a Class Ar Arion 660, a Exion 870, two Exion 870s. 
You have the Tron 750. Uh, let's see, trailers. You have DDK 301 RP and the DK 280 RL. Headers, you have the Convoy Flex 1080. Plows, you have Ecomat. Cultivators, the Simagard. Uh, Balers, you have the Impress 185 VC. Windrows, you have the Z2 840. Tedders, the GF 8712. Mowers, you have the Novacat A10 and the Novacat 301. Fertilizer spreading, the ZATS 3200. Cedars, the Terrasum C6F, not a bad one. Uh, Discarol's Rebel Classic. Bell Trailers, you have the DPW 1800. Frontloaders, the FL140. Frontloader Tools, you have a Pallet Fork, Universal Bucket, Manure Fork, Bell Spike. Uh, header Trailer, the N60. And you have a few weights on here. Okay, as you see, there is a balloon over there. Let's actually go on to the farm. Here is the farm. Uh, looks like the base game garage is right there. ID aggro. Huh. Oh, yeah, this is the feeding one, huh? I have not actually even used this one in game yet. So we got one of these on here. But let's let's get a like a sense of what the size of the fields are. So this is wait, no, that's field line. Let, let's see if we can go to the actually the field that you own. And as you do see, there is traffic on here. You have actually a pretty big farm. I have a feeling these fields are going to be huge. Let's just go over here. Whoa. Oh, it's like, what the heck is that sound? That's that weather thing right there. So you do have one of those on there. Didn't know what that sound was for a second there. Uh, let's go right over to here. So this is your starting field you start with which is actually worth let's see four hundred ninety seven thousand dollars and looks like i'm a new farmer looks like what is that on there canola and as you see right there yeah it is a pretty big field okay guys so that is the mecklenburg lake district let's get to the second map okay so the second new one we have for today is maypole farm and this is from cavalier roy Okay, let's go ahead and click on it real quick. Here's exactly where you start off. This says, Welcome to the Maypole Farm. This is a fictional Irish map that offers vast amounts of forestry as well as arable farming with multiple farms. Spread out around the map for those who like to spread out or play multiplayer. Farm yards are fully customizable so you can demolish all sheds, barns, cut away all the hedges, trees, and remove all the walls, fences, and gates. There is 128 fields, all include missions and seven farms. Okay, so here's exactly where you start off. Actually, I think this is the uh, the place that you actually... I think this one is the Elm Creek one, actually. I think, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so here is the shop. Let's take a look at here. And you see there is tons of fields. 128 of them. So, uh, let's see. What do you own? You own basically 90, 86, 85, 84, 67, 66, and 68. And your farm is right here. Uh, you got uh, biogas plants. Let's see if you got any more stuff. You do, actually. Grain mill. You got right next to the grain mill is a cereal factory. Uh, what's this? A spinnery right down here. Great processing unit. Sawmill. Looks like he incorporated most of the factory, so that's pretty good. And the good thing is, look, okay, you see right down here, if you're a fan of like the square fields... You got those right down here. And then if you're not a fan of square fields, you got different shapes right up here. So that's pretty neat. All right. Anyways, here is the town. Uh, fuel areas right down there, I think. Oh, wait, no, right here. And the rest of the town is right over here. Let me go right back here. Oh, this is the sugar mill. Okay, this is mostly actually just factories right over here. Okay. Ooh, what just happened? Okay, there we go. Okay, let's actually go to the farm, which is right over here. So, like the other one, most of these buildings are from the base game. We have another one of them. Wow. Yeah, see the Herman sheds and all that? So remember, if you do not like this, you can delete all this and build your own farm from scratch. Okay, some of the tractors. Wow, you actually get that. Wow, okay. Uh, let's go right over here. Small tractors. We have the Vario 314, the MF5S, and the 6105. Uh, medium tractors. We have the Vulture 8750. Wheel loaders. You got the Torion 1511. 
Cars, you get the pickup 1986. You actually get a stone picker. Wow. You get the Scorpio 550. Subsoil is the DC 401. Cedars, the TF 1512. Fertilizer spreader, you have the K105 and the ZATS 3200. Grassland Care, the Double Max Roll 630. Mowers, you have two, the GMD 8730 and the front GMD 3123. Tedders, you have the Van 904. Wind Rowers, you have the Z2. Uh, Forage Wagons, you get the Boss Alpine. Bailers, you get the MF1840. Bail Loaders, you get the Multi Pack D14. Uh, front Loaders, the XB150. Front Loader Tools, you got Bail Spike. Wheel Loader Tools, you got Silage Fork. Low Loaders, you got the Transport Wagon. And you have two weights. So, not bad actually starting off. I'm actually surprised you actually start off with like the best stone picker. All right, anyways, that is the farm. Let me get, let me. Let me let you guys see like the shape of the field so you guys know what it is. And it looks like actually where the sheep is, is actually a field. So yeah, that, that's pretty nice right there. Here's the gate right here. Should open. Yes, it does. And then you go right out to the field. So this is field 85. I mean, it's not not too bad of a size actually. Right next, next to it, we have field 66, which this is a decent sized field too. Okay, so that is the Maypole Farm. Out of these two, is are any of you guys going to be playing any of these, these this weekend? Now, the first regular mod we have for today is this one right here. This is the Burr 6135 Tracto Speed. And this is from Her Krupp. I believe that's how you say that. Uh, 135 horsepower, manual transmission, 90 liters of fuel, 21 miles an hour, 3.9 tons, $49,900. Will Brand, you have 12 board. You have Michelin, you have Continental, you have BKT. Trail board, you got standard, twin wheels, and then back to standard. And let's see, wheel weights on that one. Continental, you have narrows or wides. BKT, you just have wides. So I'm actually going to do this one. You're going to lease that one. It also comes with this right here, a weight for it, which is $350, $650. Actually, you can actually up the weight. You get a $250, $300, $350, and you can change the main color either from black or green. And then you have another weight, which is the 800, which is $930. And you can only change the color on this. Okay, so here it is in game. Looks really good. Lots of detail on this. So let's go ahead and get in it. Nothing happened when we got in it. No beacons. We have one, two, two sets of lights. Turn signals, yes. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet so you guys can hear the engine. Nice engine sound. You can actually see stuff moving on there too. You see right there. See the fan and everything moving. The belt moving. Really nice. All right, let's see. Horn. Okay, that's it. The top speed is 21 miles an hour. Here is the interior. Twenty-two. I don't know why it always goes one mile above that cruise control thing right there. Okay, so I actually like this tractor right here. So guys, this is the Brewer 6135 Tracto Speed. Next on the list, we have a new cultivator. This is the Lizard CV29 from Langro Modding. Uh, let's see, 3.3 tons. It does require 250 horsepower, seven working meters, nine miles an hour. Uh, tires, it has the FL02, $13,673. We got roller, we got roller, harrow and roller, and then back to roller on that. Now, the last regular mod we have for today is this one right here, the Auto Load Trailer, and this is from Urshaba. This thing holds 20,000 liters, 760 kilograms. Let's see, $12,000. We'll set up, you got standard, you got standard two, and then back to standard. Main color, you pretty much got to any of the basic colors right there, and rim color, any color two on that. So let's go black right there, and let's go ahead and get one. And I'm also going to add a production pallet just to make sure that this works. Let's get some, let's get some, I don't know. Let's get some chocolate. There we go. Let's get one thing. Well, let's get two things of chocolate. All right. So there we go. Let's go ahead and hook this up and see how this thing works. Okay, so that's hooked up. Okay, it should work probably almost like the TLX does. Does the back open up? Let's see. Open door. Why is the boxes already? Oh, it's already taking some chocolate. You didn't even have to open the door. 
Wow. Okay, so if we just do this right here. Yeah, look, there it goes. It's right bringing him in there. As you see right there. And this is all factory po uh, products. Okay, so to unload them, you just click unload. And look, there you go. They're all unloaded. And yes, you guys are probably wondering, why is there four when there was only like two? That is because I was using the all pro product uh, mod, which adds actually 2,000 on them instead of the regular 1,000 liters. So you see right there. I don't know why that thing doesn't even have a box right there. That's really weird. Okay, but anyways, guys, that is the auto load trailer. Love it. On PC, there's also another auto load trailer, which we'll be going over in a little bit, too. Okay, so the first placeable mod we have for today is actually a new factory. This is Maple Syrup Production. And it says, it is time to enter the maple syrup business. You have the trees successfully tapped and a shed to reduce down the sap. Now the rest is up to you. Set yourself up a roadside sell point and reap the rewards. Plus, maybe enjoy some of your breakfast, lunch, or dinner. The maple syrup farm is $16,000. Daily upkeep is fifteen. dollars Requires only water for production. Maple, maple syrup sales is $1,000. So as you see, it's right here. There, That is the sell point where you guys can find that. Is let's go under production, go to sell points, and there it is right there. And then we also have the big old place where you make your maple syrup. So you bring in your water, put it right over here. Let me actually go ahead and empty all that out in there. If we go to here, make sure you turn it on. So there we go, it is on. It should be starting to make some maple syrup. How much water can this thing buy? Actually, a lot of water. Very excited about this. The cool thing about this is I noticed with that new auto loader from Shaba, it will actually take this. So it will take the pallets of the maple syrup. So I'm hoping that like on my Nebraska map, it will actually take those productions too. Cause I know the TLX 2020 doesn't for some reason. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fast forward time and see what these maple syrup pallets look like. So let's go ahead all the way to eight o'clock in the morning. Should only take a minute. This is by GTX, by the way, and it is only two megabytes, so it's not even that big of a file. Okay, so here we go. Nighttime, and we're about to hit the morning. Let's see some maple syrup. And look at that. It's fresh maple syrup. Like pure maple syrup right there. I love that right there. So let's actually go into here. Let's go down to here. Should be down at the very, very bottom. Yep, there it is right there. $3,715. That is some pretty, yeah, that's pretty good right there. All the way goes up to 4435 Wow. Okay, that is actually really good. And let me see something real quick. So it makes one maple syrup, 864 cycles. So it makes, what, about in one month, 864 Hey, this is more, isn't it? Oh, no, this is only 175 liters right here. Oh, okay. These aren't even... Okay, so that's actually not too bad of a price right there. Okay, so that is the maple syrup production. Very excited about that. And it looks like the trees actually change color with the seasons. Oh, that is awesome. Next on the list, we have a new Polish cow shed. This is from P-T-R-O-L-N-I-K. I'm just going to spell it out right there. Okay, but anyways, this is a cow shed. Okay, why isn't it working? Oh, there we go. 45 cows it can hold. Let me actually get a few real quick. Uh, let's just get five. There we go. Doors all open, as you see right there. There they all are. Uh, so it looks like you can open that door. I highly suggest it. That way they can come in and out. Looks like you get your milk right there. Your food goes in there. And this looks like probably your slurry, I'm thinking. And it looks like that is about it of this. Where you can find this. Let's go under animals, go under cows. And it is only $50,000. It's called Obra Polaska. I believe that's how you say that. Okay, so there's the only animal placeable for today. Next one, we have the XXL Solar Park from Raze. The solar field generate, generates energy and thus an hourly income. The price is $978,000. Income, $1,500. Daily upkeep is $1,000. This thing is a large footprint. Uh, let's go to production. Let's go to generators. 
there it is right there so actually it makes thirty six thousand per uh per month on there and you see it does take up a lot of room so yeah also to let you guys know with the greenhouse the greenhouse how you find that is that it will actually be under uh under greenhouses yeah the maple production is actually under greenhouses okay now the next one we have is the weather station from heschel mods and all this thing does is it basically gets more of a better accuracy i guess with the weather i guess i'm thinking that's what it does because that's what the other one did so there's that where you can find this one let's go under i believe it's under tools yeah there it is right there 1500 see the original one is 4200 and you see it's really really small and now the last new mod for all platforms we have this one right here the storage shed for pr products on pallet this is from zodal zocket this is a storage shed for palletized products can be stored boards bread butter cakes canola oil cereals cheese chocolate clothing eggs fabrics flour furniture grape juice honey olive oil raisins lettuce strawberries sugar sunflower oil and tomatoes construction cost is ten thousand dollars Filling volume, you can put all the way up to 1 million liters. Daily cost is $25. And need it, each product needs its own storage building. So this one right here, as you see, it is for lettuce. So you bring in your lettuce right there, and then if you need to get them out, they'll come out right there. Uh, but where can you find these? Let's go under silos, all the way at the very end. As you see, we got them all right here. These are $10,000 a piece. So there is quite a few of them right there. Okay, so that is all the mods for all platforms. I think probably my favorite one for today has to be the Maple Farm. I love that Maple Farm. Either the Maple Farm or the Autoloader. Okay, let's take a look at the PC only mods. Now, welcome to the PC only mods for today. The first one we have is the Lindner Unitrack Platform Autoload. This is from John Wayne 1930. This is a Unitrack 122L drive platform with autoload for pallets, round, and square bales. FS22 Pallet Autoload Specialization is required to make the autoload work. Also, the Lindner Unitrack pack is also mandatory. Price is 2,500, capacity is 2,000 liters uh, for the config without autoload. Uh, let's see. You got extension. You got platform. You got platform three point, and then back to platform. Uh, oh, then you also got actually platform three point only three point hitch. Platform. Okay, so you got like three different ones right there. So you can do this one, and let's see. Main color. Trying to get to main color. There we go. You either got red or you got orange. So let's go ahead and get this real quick, and then also the Linear unit track which you need for this to work. So let's just get this. All right, I got those courses pallets we were using earlier. Let's go ahead and load this up. All right, come on. I need to start using this Lindner. Uh, Lindner. I haven't used this that much. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so how do we do the auto load function? Let's see. Uh, fasten belts. I don't see nothing about auto load. Let me, uh, let me bring up my keyboard controls real quick, which would be under here radio no don't need radio on we need there we go keyboard okay toggle steering i don't see anything where it says auto load or maybe that's just me um hmm let's try this again shall we platform platform three points platform platform three points only three point hitch oh there we go right there okay so platform then we got the al tension belts automatic or manual all right so there's actually quite a few on there so let's go ahead and get this one let's get rid of that one so definitely got to make sure you have the tension belt one all right so there we go okay loading type euro pallets all right see now all i need to do is hit the r button or if i'm using a controller like this I need to hit the L button and watch this. Ding, ding. Look at that. i put another one in there. It's going to fit anymore. It looks like it can't. So then we can do that. And they are strapped down. And then just to unload them, you just... Let me see. Okay, I don't know how to unload them. Oh, I guess you just actually pick them up. Because I don't see anything else about unloading. Maybe if I do this, 
Let's see. Hide markers. Tip left side. Unload pallets is I. So let's go. Yep. There we go. Right there. So that right there, guys, is the Lindner Unitrack platform auto load. Like it. The next new PC only mod we have for today is this right here, the Royal Dirt Color Tracks. What does this do? Let's see, colors all vehicle tires, crawler tracks, and smoke effects to match the dirt colors. Colors blend and wear off while driving, and colors also revert to normal on that. And then the next one that goes good with that is the Royal Dirt Fix. And both of these are from Viper GTS 96. But anyways, this one prevents rain, grass, and roads from cleaning your vehicle. Recommended mods, of course, the Royal Dirt Color and the Royal Dirt Color Tracks. So that is all the mods for the week for PC, for all platforms. That is everything. Let me know in the comment section below, guys, which one was your favorite mod for the week. Okay, let's get to that testing list. Walking home late at night, maybe half past two. A little drunk when I'm alright. Cause I've been hanging with you And it feels like love Tell me if I'm wrong Cause it feels like love Yeah, it feels like love Come on, come on, come on, come on so that was the news, new mods, and testing list. And if you guys didn't know, the testing list part was an April Fool's joke. Everything else was real on here. But the bad news is there was actually no testing list that was released. Anyways, today's schedule is a live stream at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're going to be back in Nebraska getting our ethanol plants running. Remember, if you guys liked the video, make sure to smash that like button. Also, if you're new, to hit that sub button and ring that bell. And from me to you, welcome to the club. See you tonight. Peace. I want you here with me. Come out of my mind. For is this how it should be? You made me sing about love. So just tell me if I'm wrong. But it feels like love. Yeah, it feels like love. Yeah.